Open Area, Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL clear. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Citizen reports suspicious activity on a trolley car on Fountain Avenue. Stand by for further information. Any central unit? Mercy! Any central unit. Citizen reports suspicious activity on a trolley car on Fountain Avenue. LAPD, ma'am. Are you all right? That lowlife! That filthy lowlife! What happened? I was standing ready to get off and I heard a click. His camera. That pervert took a picture of my... <clears throat> up my... Which way did he go? There! That's him! Right there! Ah, oh, fuck. Go on, Phelps, get after that creeper! Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! This asshole off the road. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Your hands in the air! You're under arrest for public indecency. Ah, oh, Christ. One eighty seven at fifty eight ten Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. What's with that getup of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy.
Are you a spy? You seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. Any sentry unit 484 just occurred. 3155 West 4th Street. Unit to handle code 3, identify. Damn maniac! You idiot! Can we try not to kill anyone? Christ! Do you ever shut up? I'm sorry, sir. Police officer. I, I find need your one car. goddamn ding. What are you doing? Look where you're going! Stop. Let 
Thank God we're not in my car. What are you doing? Maybe I drive better if you shut the hell up. You you got to help me, officer, please. Slow down. What happened? I was just walking alone, not bothering nobody. And these punks jumped me. They knocked me across my mouth and took my money. How long ago was this? N not more than 20 minutes ago, mister. They went that way, down the alley there. Wait here. Please, you sucker. This son of a bitch is taking the car. Shit, come on, let's get after him. Wake up, Cole. Asshole off the road. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Now wasn't that a stupid thing to do? Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest... Look out! Well, hello. What can I help you with today? LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall.
Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. We need information on anyone she might have been seeing. Maybe someone she met here. I'm sorry, I don't know of anyone. If she was seeing someone, he must have had money. Julia would never be interested in any man who didn't have real money. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, a wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Henry is your beau. Tell us about him. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Look, lady, you need to give me something. Do you know anybody who would have cause to harm Julia? No. Really, Mr. Phelps, Julia is my friend. I don't know why anyone would want to hurt her. She's okay, isn't she? That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, oh no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. comes from olives. Where's the baby oil? Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Thank God we're not in my car. What the hell? Are you crazy? You're not helping.
Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. Al? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. I'm at a loss. You want to go digging around in drains trying to support Mal's theory? You go ahead. I'm not getting my hands dirty. You better not get blood on this car. What are we waiting for? Cole, Roy, I have some information for you. 
You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Arnett is in interview, too, Phelps. Go help him get whatever it is off his chest. we bust in there and find the goddamn Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business and... Julia occasionally modeled for me. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck on the shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. <laughs> yes. We had relations. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Spill it, Henry. You know nothing about a man named Henderson? 
Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? I think you're lying. I think Randall was a high-priced hooker, and this Henderson character didn't want it to come out that he had been seeing her. I think he had LeBlanc and an accomplice bump her off. I think you know who Henderson is, and you're trying to conceal his identity. I think you've been out in the sun too long without your hat. Prove that I know who Henderson is. I came down here to talk to you, to do the right thing, to try and help catch Julia's killers. And all I get is abuse. I'm not a criminal detective. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. Mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my hand. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. A fighting sixth. You were in the sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. He's in that car at the lights. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Where are you taking us, Henry? Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. Idiot never stepped foot in Okinawa.
He needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him, see how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. That's right, Mexico City. One-way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket for Mexico City tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. Oh my God, it's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams.
Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Messages, please. Yes, Detective. Detective Spakowski and Galloway request you return to the Hollywood Station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood Ninth Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Thanks. Ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. Christ alive, this is a nightmare! God damn, maniac! Sir, I need the contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Son of a bitch! Give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley.
Throw out the guns. You're covered, Phelps. Stay down. As soon as he posts. Take cover, you lunatic! Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. I nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. Got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? But she is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. 
Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> A priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. We recovered a black sapphire ring. A beautiful piece. It belongs to my daughter. What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother! Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? This morning at work. Oh, Mother and Father divorced. I took my father's name. The Detectives... Recovered some of the things that were stolen, Don. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you. There's there's a very good explanation for all of this. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it.
His mother would be proud of him.